the arrangement that we've got to test this anchor is a chain block which is secured up to the beam above uh, and then we've got a, a block um, along at the end there um, this plank I guess is simulating the deck and then we've got the old bar roller fitting as is um, down at the end of the plank here and then we've got an extension which has been formed by the two pieces of plywood and then we're using the old roller which has been moved forward by um, five inches to the center line so 125 mil between the old center line and the new center line and the purpose of this is to prevent the new uh, Rocknar anchor that the boat is being fitted with uh, from clashing with the stem and that part of the bow roll of fitting um, is the piece that runs down the stem so that's what we're trying to avoid hitting at any point during the retrieval or uh, deployment of the anchor. So. Well clear at this point. So we start to run uh, closer to the fitting as the anchor is drawn up on deck. You can see now that we're getting closer. It's still a good 150 millimeters away from the stem. Uh, we're coming in now to the pretty slow position on the wheel there. And at that point we remain about 40 millimetres away from the stem and the anchor on a slightly larger diameter roller which is the intention to um, uh, when the modifications done to the um, bow fitting to the roller fitting uh, we'll be using a slightly larger diameter roller anyway with a, a groove that is the same width as the um, uh, the shank on the anchor and um, that will uh, prevent the anchor from rocking from side to side as it's being retrieved. So as we deploy again, that's moving away before it touches as intended. So that's given us our sizes and we can continue on now, modify the um, bow roller um, fabrication and also what we'll do is add a small web um, to either side so that we can put a, uh, a securing pin to engage through the two webs and then also into the, uh, uh, the aperture in the, in the anchor as that aligns.